Hello everyone, it's me Sanjay Vasu back again for another video. This time I'm doing it on Cambridge Lower Secondary Sample Test for September 2020, Science Stage 9 Paper 1. Question 6. The drawing shows the positions of Africa and South America on the Earth. A. Scientists think that these two continents are on separate tectonic plates. What is a tectonic plate? So first of all, definition questions is not easy to come on the Cambridge exam, but they do come. In this case, this is a simple definition. Tectonic plates are a piece of the Earth's crust which float on the mantle. That's it, two marks. B. Scientists also think that South America and Africa once joined together many millions of years ago. The diagram shows present-day South America and Africa drawn next to each other. We can see that their borders are very close fit to each other. It's almost a perfect fit. Here's a diagram to explain why scientists think that these two continents are once joined. Well, it's kind of simple, what I just said. The borders of South America and Africa fit together almost perfectly. I have added like a jigsaw puzzle because it gives more description and it gives a more clear image, but then it's not really required. So I just have to say they fit together almost perfectly. That's the answer. Part C, look at the table. Which two kinds of evidence are most useful to show that South America and Africa were once joined? Tick only two boxes. The answer is comparing the rocks and fossil records. Because if the ecosystems millions of years ago were similar, then the fossil records will be similar. And if the rocks were similar millions of years ago, they'll still be now because rocks survive on Earth for a very, very long time before they are weathered. Part D, write down one event that happens when two tectonic plates meet. You can write earthquake which i've written or you can write a tsunami or you can write a volcanic eruption i've written earthquake that would be our answer part e blessy uses the model to explain how tectonic plates move apart look at the diagram complete these sentences about blessy's model the tectonic plates are represented by the dash simply the plastic blocks because they are floating on top of the water the water represents the dash Mantle, of course, because these tectonic plates float on the mantle, blocks float on the water. The water moves in a cycle in a process called convection. You can also write convection current, no problem, but convection is a simple answer. The Bunsen burner represents the heat source from the core of the earth, or the center of the earth, is also acceptable. That's the answer. Now you can go to question 7. The diagram shows a white hot spark. Complete the sentences, choose from the list. A white hot spark is at a very high temperature, which means average kinetic energy of the particles. But it does not contain much heat energy, which is the total energy of the particles, the total kinetic energy of the particles, because it does not contain many particles, right? Because if there's very less number of particles, the total will be very less. So that will be the answer. Temperature heat energy, particles. We can go to question 8. Aiko is making some magnesium chloride. She reacts magnesium with dilute hydrochloric acid. The three steps are given here and also shown in diagrams. A. A gas is made during this reaction. What is the name of this gas? Well, if we react some magnesium with dilute hydrochloric acid, we'll get magnesium chloride plus hydrogen. Because hydrochloric acid has hydrogen, Magnesium chloride does not, so we need hydrogen to be there in the equation as a product as well. So hydrogen is the answer. B. Step 2 separates the magnesium chloride solution from unreacted magnesium metal. What's the name of this process? That's simply filtration because the unreacted magnesium metal stays inside the filter paper. The solution of magnesium chloride or the dissolved magnesium chloride passes through the filter paper because it's dissolved and therefore this is filtration. Part C, step three, remove some of the water by heating the magnesium chloride solution. What's the name of this process? It's quite simple. We're removing the water. That's just evaporation because we're heating it, removing the water and that will be our answer. D, Ico also reacts zinc oxide with dilute sulfuric acid. Zinc sulfate and water are made. Write the word equation for this reaction. So we have the reactants and we have the products. So we just write the reactants here, zinc oxide plus dilute sulfuric acid. By the way, you can write dilute as DIL, it's just a short form. And then 
aryl, zinc sulfate plus water, which are the products? That's the answer. Now we can go to question nine. Question nine. Jamila makes five sounds. She looks at the trace each sound makes on an oscilloscope. The traces are labeled A, B, C, D, and E. Look at trace A. Complete the sentences and choose from B, C, D, or E. A, which sound is louder than A? That means it has a higher amplitude, and that's just B. It's slightly higher than the wave A. Which sound has a higher frequency than A? That's E, because it has more waves in one length of the oscilloscope. All these are the same length of the wave. Now part C, which two sounds have a different pitch to A? That means different frequency, and that means a different number of waves. In this case, it's D and E. Because A has two full waveforms, and D has only one, E has four. D, which sound has a lower amplitude than A? It's C, because even though it has two waveforms, they are much less in height than A's. You can check using a ruler if you want. It will have less height. That's the answer. Let's go to question 10. Hassan investigates the reaction between 0.5 grams of sodium carbonate and 20 centimeters cube of dilute hydrochloric acid. Hassan measures the reaction time it takes for the reaction to stop, does five different experiments, uses a different concentration of acid in each experiment, keeps the temperature same in each experiment. Look at the table of his results. The table is given here, relative concentration of acid and reaction time. A. Plot Hassan's result on the grid. Draw the curve of best fit through the points. So all the five points are here. One, two, three, four, five. You need to plot it like that correctly. Otherwise, the answer is wrong. And then you have to draw the curve of best fit just like this. Smooth curve, of course. B. Describe the trend shown by these results. Of course, we can see that as one increases, the other decreases. So, because relative concentration is the independent variable, we can say as the relative concentration of acid increases, the reaction time in seconds decreases. That's our answer. Question 11. Oliver investigates conduction of thermal energy. He heats a metal rod. It has a pin attached with wax over here. Oliver measures the time it takes before the pin falls off the rod. The pin takes 45 seconds before it falls. A. Describe how Oliver makes his result more reliable. The most simple answer is he can repeat the experiment. Because then, if he has a few more trials, he can take the average and simply avoid anomalous results. That's how you make it more reliable. B. Oliver does a risk assessment for his investigation. He considers the safety hazards. Describe two of the safety hazards in Oliver's investigation. So, first of all, it's safety hazards, not precautions, right? Not precautions. And which is why we need to only write what could happen. We cannot write how to prevent what could happen. So, simple first thing is the wax could catch fire from the heat which is supplied and if the metal rod burns of course and then the second is the pins are sharp so you could get poked in the finger or even any other place it's a very dangerous and there's actually one more which is the fact that the metal rod can burn your fingers or any other part because of course there's a lot of heat being supplied to it with that i come to the end of the paper please like this video Subscribe to our channel, share this video with your friends and family, and comment on how you think this video was. With that, it's me, Sanjay Vasu, signing out. Thank you. Bye.